What's up, a cinema showgun here, and there's been a fair share of drama in this Quentin Simon case. And while I was on vacation, a lot of drama was popping off in this case. And I was paying attention to it, and I was about to make a video from my hotel room one night. And then I stumbled across something that just made me sick to my stomach. And I don't mean that as a figure of speech, I mean that literally. It made me sick to my stomach. It made me feel unwell to the point that I put my phone down and was like, screw making videos today. I'm just going to enjoy my night and try to separate my mind from this nonsense for at least a couple of days. Because what I saw is, I saw that someone, I don't even want to name the person, the Crypt Keeper, and some other people, I guess, I don't know. They set up a... Amazon wish list for Billy Joe. And while law, while law enforcement is still searching for Quentin Simon in a landfill, while the other kids that were in the household have been taken away, there are people sending baby clothes, baby gifts to Billy Joe. They're sending her stuff for kids' rooms. I think she even got a ring for herself. And I'm just downright sickened by it for some reason. I mean, I think the reason is obvious, right? I, I try not to judge people for their past. Everyone has a past. We all grow as people. We all make mistakes. Billy Joe, unfortunately gave birth to a murderer that's behind bars. Billy Joe lost custody of her own kids. Billy Joe raised yet another person who was accused of murder or, or, or allegedly did something to their child or allegedly maybe an accident happened and she decided to throw the child in a garbage can. That's three strikes right there. But let's go further. The other kids, her grandkids that were under her care, were reportedly known to be dirty, have bruises on them, playing outside in ditches, going into the pool by themselves. They weren't taken care of well. Now, the list can go on and on. But what's the rule in baseball? Three strikes, you're out. I gave Billy Joe four. Four big strikes. You raised a murderer, you raised another possible murderer, you lost custody of your kids, you lost custody of your grandkids now, and everyone says your grandkids would stink, they were underfed, they were dirty, and had bruises on them. They were not well taken care of. Yeah, people think it's a great idea. Hey, let's send her kid gifts. Let's deck out one of her bedrooms. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? with all of this cool, great stuff for kids, because we really need Billy Joe to have more kids in that roof, or under that roof. I'm sorry, but sometimes I feel like on my channel, I have a almost an obligation to be more blunt and straightforward than other people. And I don't want to always be that guy because being that guy, you're often labeled as the bad guy when you just say things how, it, how they are. And, you know, I have sympathy for people and I have sympathy in my heart for Billy Joe still. But Billy Joe has no business ever having a child under her supervision again. Period. Point blank. Period. Billy Joe has no business having kids live under her roof anymore. You got one convicted murderer that you raised. You got another one that should be going to jail soon, hopefully. Your grandchild died under your supervision. What more do we need here? This woman does not need to be around kids. For the love of God, keep kids and everything about kids away from that woman. And away from Leilani. Far as I'm concerned, 
you're accused of throwing your kid or you're you're accused of throwing your kid in a dumpster you shouldn't be around kids either so what's happening here is we have these weirdos who have taken it upon themselves to make Billy Joe like a martyr like like she's almost I don't even know what to call her I don't know who, I don't know what to label it exactly but it, it really kind of weirds me out the type of people that are out there and man these true crime cases bring out these these people who who oh I, <laughs> I don't even know what to call them okay i don't even know what to call them but it brings out some interesting people let's just say that People who take it upon themselves to take their hard-earned money. Or maybe they get government checks, I don't know. They take their cash, it's like, you know what I want to do with this money? I want to buy Billy Joe some baby clothes for some babies who aren't even there. Who she lost the custody of because their brother got killed and got thrown into a garbage can. So let me buy her some baby clothes. Let me buy her some gifts. So that's what's happening now. As if, as if the situation isn't crazy enough, Billy Joe is sitting here raking in the Amazon gifts. Yes, send me, you know, I got a whole Amazon wish list. A Amazon wish list, wish list of baby stuff. Psychopathic. Crazy. Insane. Disgusting. Slimy. Sickening. I, <laughs> I could think of a thousand words to throw at this situation and they would all stick. <laughs> I, I, it, it's like... Things don't really surprise me much anymore in today's world. But this kind of caught me a little off guard. Seeing Billy Joe have an Amazon wish list. And seeing that people were actually sending her items. It's almost as if, like, she's being rewarded for her bad actions. I feel bad about the situation with Quentin Simon. I still, as a human being, have sympathy for Billy Joe in this situation. Regardless of all the mistakes she's made, I still have sympathy for Billy Joe in this situation. However, Billy Joe deserves to stew in this pot that she has created. Billy Joe deserves to stew in the soup of ratchetness and debauchery <laughs> that she has created. Leilani is very much a product of Billy Joe. Quentin, and I ain't talking about Quentin the baby. I'm talking about her son that's in jail for murder. He was very much a product of Billy Joe. They are much, very much a product of the environment that Billy Joe placed them in. Leilani didn't get how she was just from being like that. She got that way from being raised by Billy Joe. Leilani tested positive for booger sugar with every child she gave birth to. Yeah, people say, hey, you know what? We need to send them some towel. We need to send them some baby blankets. Send them some blankies and some stuffed animals. Let's send them a crib, a, a race car, baby bed for the imaginary children in their life. The crazy part is a lot of people are looking at this situation as if Billy Joe and Leilani, they're just so down bad, they couldn't afford anything for their kids. Man, you know, 
I know Quentin is missing, but we feel bad for Billy Joe. She's got it so rough. Crazy part is, I guarantee you all, Billy Joe's house is probably bigger than most of the people watching this video. Billy Joe's house is bigger than most of the people watching this video right now. How many of you all got a pool in your backyard? I don't got one. I don't got an RV in the back and a camper and a four wheeler and whatever the hell else they got. The reality is these people ain't as broken down bad as you think. The reality is their money's going to something else because their priorities are messed up. So anything you're sending Billy Joe as if it's some type of charity Billy Joe could have purchased for herself if she wanted to, but instead she likes to partake in other things. And so does Leilani. I mean, hell, at one point, Leilani broke into a trailer and stole freaking quarters from someone. This is not a, a charity where Leilani and Billy Joe need your donations and, and pampers and baby items for babies that are either dead or no longer in their custody and hopefully will never be. So I'm really confused as to why people are doing this. And you can't tell me that you care about Quentin or you care about the safety of little kids if you're doing this. And the crazy part about it is a lot of these people that are doing this, this wish list stuff, and they're supporting Billy Joe, they're all people who didn't do a good job raising their own kids, most of them. Some of them don't have custody of their own kids. And if you did a bad job with your kids, sorry, I'll be blunt again, you do not have a place in this conversation at all. If you've done a poor job at raising your kids, taking care of your kids, you lost your kids, your voice shouldn't even be heard in a situation like this one. You should go in the back and shut the hell up because you're part of the problem. And I don't mean that directly to you all watching this video. I hope you all know that. But yeah, how do you all feel about this? Billy Joe? Sitting at home every day is like Christmas. Amazon's pulling up. Here's some new Bluetooth speakers. Here's a ring. Here, here we're going to furnish a whole house in your house with baby furniture, even though you ain't got kids. Here. Every day is Christmas for Billy Joe. Meanwhile, Quentin is somewhere rotting in a freaking landfill. Sorry for being graphic, but that's the reality of the situation. And it's so frustrating to me. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below while you're down there. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. And I'll talk to you all in the next video.